Hey everybody, Ronaldo Wafferman here, and I'm starting a new tutorial series on Pangolins Beyond. Now, if you've watched my videos on CompuShow or, you know, even just my regular gig logs that I post, I actually use the other software that Pangolin has, which is called QuickShow, and I use that quite a bit. But I switched over to Beyond for one reason, and that reason is the absolutely amazing DMX and um, MIDI control that this software has. So I can trigger this with DMX, I can trigger it with ArtNet, or I can just do MIDI. Now to me that's really important because all my shows are live and I don't want to have to use two different mice, one to control DMX, one to control my lasers. I want one to control everything. But even though QuickShow has MIDI built in, it's nowhere as advanced as what Beyond has. Beyond literally has, first of all, we have Pango Script, and I'm going to cover that in a much later video, but it has literally just click and map MIDI controls, whereas QuickShow didn't have that. I also liked the overall layout of the software batter. This is very similar to QuickShow. Beyond is basically the best of both worlds from what I understand. Uh, you know, they have their QuickShow, they have their LD2000. Well, Beyond is pretty much beyond all that, huh? I see what they did there. So I'm going to show you a couple things about I liked about the software. And definitely, guys, if you're into lasers, you know, or if you have your own laser system, whatever it is, whether you're using QuickShow or a different software, still subscribe. Watch this because I think after you see a little bit of the software, you're going to be in the same boat that I am. It's like, oh, I, I absolutely have to switch. And there's some really cool things that it has. First of all, the layout. The layout is much cleaner. Whereas QuickShow has the tabs here on the top, Beyond has them on the side, and I can see everything in one shot. And I really like that. It's a little bit cleaner, more organized for me to see. One of the things that drove me nuts about QuickShow is that if I click one tab, everything switched around. So I really couldn't develop the muscle memory of where I'm supposed to click. With this, I can easily you know, do that because everything stays the same. So that's really nice in there. Uh, if I want to, you know, add a page, delete a page, move a page elsewhere, they make it very easy and it's just uh, numerical. So, you know, makes it pretty easy to organize there. Just like Quick Show, you click and it's there. But, but what happens as you click and you modify different things? Now, remember that Beyond is probably a lot more advanced that I will ever have to use. I mean, there's some stuff in here that, I mean, would blow your mind of what it can do. And I'm excited about that because as I upgrade lasers or buy additional projectors or whatever the case may be, I know that my software isn't going to be outdated. I like knowing that my software can do more than what I need it to. So that gives me some, you know, chance to grow, gives me a chance to add more and do more with my lasers. And more importantly, if I feel, hey, you know, I want to kick up my show a bit, I have to sit there and buy all new projectors. I just got to learn something new the software can do and see how I can make my show better with it. So over here on the right hand side, okay, we have a, quite a few different options than your traditional quick show has. So let me just go ahead and do, let's say for example, one of the abstract shows here. Oh uh, yeah, abstracts. Let's do here. And you'll see that a lot of these are very similar to what quick show has. Now there's a little bit of a different file format and this will read the quick show files. But later on, I'll explain the differences between file formats and how the lasers and all that works. But when we go here into the dynamics, again, you have uh, your limiting options. We'll kind of talk a little bit about that. Your cue appearance, so you have your soft pause direction, so you can tell when you want the cue to start, when you want the cue to finish. You have also transitions, where you can transition from one to the other, and you can have this in a time duration, or I'm guessing this is basically based on BPM, which is pretty cool. Uh, the limiters obviously says here multi queue only. I'll cover that later on when I actually have a couple different uh, FB3s that I can play around with. Uh, we have channel options here. Again, we'll cover that later on here. Live control, again, very similar to Quick Show as far as how you can you know work it. So we can move the uh, rotation. We can just reset it. We can change our different coordinates. Just something, you know, a little bit more uh, unique again, just like Quick Show there. You can change your color. You have your brightness, your visible points. So again, all that is very similar to what you guys are used to. And then you have your physics part. And I'll be honest with you, I don't know this well enough to explain it. By this time next week, I will. So I will give you a little, a little bit of information on that. Oops, that's playback physics. There we go. We need to just cancel that out there. And then we have our sizing options. 
Right now it's set on locking, so I can just unlock it and I can resize it as I need to. So if I want to change things around a little bit. So, so why would something like this be important? Well, let's say I'm going into my projector size. So like for example, if I go settings, my projector zones, and right away you can tell there's a lot more options to the projector zone, uh, including geometric correction, uh, you have your keystoning, you got a whole bunch of stuff that you can do. But let's say you're limiting which part of your projector hits, and after you get it all set up, you realize, oh man, this show is a little bit, you know, it's a little bit squished. I want to round it out a little bit. Okay, no problem. We'll just take it here, whatever the case may be, and now you can move it around so it's a perfect circle or dimensions, whatever you need it to be. Time control, pretty obvious what time control is, and I'm pretty excited because CompuShow does time control, which is the DMX software that I use. I use, you know, Media Master for my video software. And now I can take my Beyond and sync it with my other two softwares. Or if I'm using uh, Hog or if I'm using Grand MA or whatever the case may be, I can use the time code out and synchronize my laser show with it, which is pretty neat. We have different effects, again, very similar to the way QuickShow has it laid out. Uh, we have fixture, we have master, so this is obviously your master controls. Uh, we'll mess with that later on. Uh, visual clipboard, we'll cover that later. And then Pango script. And Pango script is basically where you can script an action to do something else. So, for example, if you have, you know, if you want to tell it, okay, when I click this, I want you to do this and this and this, you can do that with Pango script. It's basically making the software your own. Now, Here's something that's actually pretty cool. Now, a quick show has where you have your toggle, right, where you click that, or you can do different keys, okay? And you can tell that you want it to restart, whatever the case may be. You can have it, uh, different options to select. Um, but let's say we have our toggle here, and then you have flash, which we're familiar with this. But what you may not know is that you have a flash solo. So what is the flash solo? So I'm gonna hold the flash solo, Let's say that we have that program there, and then in the middle of, let's say, for example, our, let's do it. Let's say it's a slow song, right? Let's uh, switch this back to toggle. And we've got the stars for the slow song, and it's an EDM slow song, right? You know, where it just starts slow, and then all of a sudden there's the bass drop, and then it goes crazy. I'm gonna hold this down when I let go, bam, it goes right back to it, or I can use my keys. So there it is right there, bam, and I let go. Or I can just select different ones and just have it flashing really fast, you know. Drop the bass. So again, you can do some cool stuff, and so that that was pretty neat there. Now, of course, this part's really neat, and you know, a lot of us may already be familiar with this type of timeline. So you can do a timeline, you can do a playlist, so basically a cue list. You can drop video on here, you can have it loop, whatever the case may be. This now more does more than just lasers. You do have um, media control, sorry, geez. You do have media control on there, which is pretty neat. Uh, down here at the bottom, again, we have our quick text. And I find the layout on this a little bit nicer than Quick Show. I seem to just be able to grab this right away, especially when you have some of the MIDI control on here. So for example, if we have text uh, right here, I just need to drop in some text. I'm just gonna click edit and we go to, you know, you have your text effect, you have your text properties. I'm just gonna go here, I'm gonna put my name. So we have DJ Crazy, not Crazy Eyes. That's definitely not it, not, geez, I can't spell my own name. I'm just gonna click okay. There it is right there, show it now. Bam. Look at that. So easy. All right. And you have your quick shape as well. So you can just draw a quick shape. You can color it. Uh, quick trace, which basically lets you open an image. And here's some basic images that are already with the program. So you can try it out. So let's say, for example, you want the yin yang. There it is right there. I'm going to click show it now. And it appeared there automatically for me. So that was pretty cool. Let's go ahead and do an image that I haven't even had a chance to really play around with. Let me see if I have something here. Um, no, I do not have an image. Uh, actually, we're gonna be going. To, I'm gonna be going to the DJ Expo pretty soon. There's lots, a couple, always laser companies at the DJ Expo, and they're always showing off the latest products from Pangolin. So if they were wanting to show the DJ Expo, look how instant that was, and look how clean that trace is.
which is really cool because now the school can give you a mascot. You can load it in super fast. You can tell it how many colors. There's noise reduction. Again, very similar to Quick Show. Uh, and I'm not sure if there's a different engine in Beyond. This is something I'm going to find out. I will let you know about it. But I'm having much better luck quick trace on this than anything else. Uh, we have our quick capture, quick effects. Again, we'll kind of cover all this later on and show you some different things that you can do with this. Uh, we have our workspace options here. We have audio options. So it's it, it's really cool. Everything that you can do in one shot and we can bring it down. Now if we go here into our test. Tons of different stuff that you can do this. You have MIDI control, and I'm going to do a video on MIDI later. You have DMX control, and I'm going to do a video on that. I'm, look, I'm going to do videos on all this stuff. We have our OSC. You have keyboard settings. You have networking settings. What is networking settings? You'll learn soon enough. Gamepad. That's right. All those years playing Mario Kart are finally going to come to good use. Uh, you have an SMPTE controller. Uh, obviously, we have our user interface options. We have configuration options. One of the things that I like about this, as a multi-op, I don't want people to tweak things that they shouldn't have. So I can actually go into my user interface and I can set it up as a user. I can set up what the user mode is. So let's say I set up into user mode and I can put in a password uh, for administration or for user. I can tell it what I wanted to start up as. And then I can basically say, look, here's the privileges that each person is going to have. I love the fact that I have different password protections for whether it's user or administrator. Um, we, you know, we have the test patterns, you have multiple test patterns, tons of different projector settings, projector zones, like I said, way beyond what Quick Show can do, way beyond. See, that's why it's called Beyond. Now, I'll tell you this straight up, just from playing with both softwares, there are two kind of lasers, well, there's tons of lasers out there, but they really narrow down into two categories that I've really seen that's important for me, so I want to tell you about it. Category number one is TTL emitters analog. So basically, analog is where it's at. Analog means that I can change with the right software. I can lower the power of a laser. So that means that I can dim a laser. So if I just have if I have a, a TTL, meaning that it's just you know full on the entire time, right? And I do red and blue, then I just have that purple. That's it. I can't do different shades of purple. But with analog, I can dim that blue down. I can bring the red up. If I see the one laser is a little bit, you know, different shade than another, which, you know, happens with lasers, and I have multiple boxes, then I can do color correction on beyond. So there's way more than you can do with this. There is definitely a difference in how things are rendered, how colors look. Even with the same laser, you're going to see a difference between both softwares. So if you really care about how your laser looks, your laser show, if you really care about having everything in front of you, easy access, and just having a software program you can grow with, Beyond is definitely it. But if you're doing, for example, I do school dances. And my schools are not necessarily going to notice that one projection looks better than another projection, especially if I'm not doing a graphic show, if I'm doing Liquid Skies. But I still use Beyond, even though most of my shows are beams and Liquid Skies versus graphics. I went into Beyond because of the advanced DMX, the advanced MIDI, and knowing that I can lock people out from doing things that they shouldn't do, messing with projector zones, you know, anything like that, I can lock them out of it if I need to. But over anything else, the DMX and MIDI stuff is amazing. Uh, the quick trace on this just seems to work better. I love the organization on this. My staff is loving how much easier it is and not having the tabs and everything flip around. So I really like that. And just like Beyond, or Quick Show, excuse me, you can save your workspace and you have a much bigger plethora of options as far as your workspace stuff and everything else, right down to system statistics, which I didn't see this in Quick Show, but it is kind of cool that, you know, I just, you know, of course, imported this, so this is going to be pretty generic right now. But it shows you your system t statistics as far as your total objects, your grid. Animating on this, much easier, including 3D control. And I can't wait to show you an, a video on that. When I do the videos, it's going to show you the software and with real life laser output so you can really see what it looks like. I'll be using a couple different laser projectors so you can not really compare and contrast the lasers because I'll be doing different things in videos form, but just so you can see that no matter what laser you use, Beyond is going to make it look awesome. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm really excited about this new video series. Please subscribe, share with your friends. 
If you've never used lasers before, this is definitely going to be the channel for you because I want to explain things in a way that if you've never used lasers and you go on a laser forum, I know it's scary. There's all these terms being thrown out. There's like, uh, what do I do? So subscribe. Tons of great videos coming out that's going to turn you into a laser pro in no time. I'm going to learn some stuff too at the same time. So as I learn, you're going to learn more too. Thank you guys so much. Good night and God bless.